-hmm. I had two boxes of business card in my desk drawer. And sometimes in the and sometimes in the last month, David Thorne replaced them with card that have my title changed from graphic designer to horse whisperer. Okay, now that actually was pretty good. I, I actually did like that. Now, I do want to say, actually, I think to Berta too and also to Dimitri, sometime, not sometimes, there's no S, sometime. Uh, we can actually do that too. Uh, the idea is some time. We don't know when. So don't add the S. And sometime in the last month. Now, in this case, uh, Dimitri, I liked how you said replace. David Thorne replaced them. Yes, lots of intonation needs to go here. That sounded much, much better. Um, there are some pronunciation points, but I'm going to skip that for now. George, yes. you want to give it a try? I want you to complain this first sentence. I had, I had two boxes of business cards in my desk drawer, and sometimes in the last month, David Thorne replaced them with cards that have my title changed from graphic designer to horse whisperer. Okay, now, the pronunciation was really good. The rhythm was actually good, too. I like the way you broke it. Once again, sometime, not... Sometimes there's no S, no S, okay? I get used to it. <laughs> I know, it, it's uh, exactly. We always say sometimes. It's tough. Sometimes, yeah. Matt, you want to give it a try, this sentence? I'm sorry, I'm stopping space. I haven't had anything to eat. <laughs> it's 3 in the morning. <laughs> what are you eating? <laughs> McDonald's food. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I got back from somewhere because I, I need to keep myself occupied to not fall asleep wow. ahead of the lesson. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. If, if somebody could read it before me and then I'll give it my best. Okay, uh, okay. Let's try Yuka. Yuka, read this sentence and I want to hear you complain. Okay. I had two boxes of business cards in my desk drawer and sometime in the last month, David Thorne replaced, replaced them with cards that have my title changed from graphic designer to horse whisperer. I don't know when he changed them, so I don't know how many I, I have given out to people. This is a waste of company money and it's unprofessional. That was really good. That was really good. Now, the big difference was you said horse whisperer with the right intonation. That's, I'm just concentrating on the first sentence, but yes. So, we've got some improvement here. Uh, replaced was hit hard. Horse Whisper was hit hard. There's still another, ba another uh, uh, word that I want people to hit harder. Matt, are you ready? Yeah. Go for it. I had two boxes of business cards in my desk drawer. And sometime in the last month, David Thorne replaced them with cards that have my title changed from graphic designer to horse whisperer. I don't know when he changed them, so I don't know how many I have given out to people. This is a waste of company money, and it's unprofessional. Okay, so once again, you guys are doing really good with the last two sentences. Uh, Yuka, Matt, hit them right, uh, and George and Dimitri also uh, got it really good. It's this first damn sentence that is causing problems. Can you guys think of one other word that's really important. One more word. Graphic? N no, that's a good one, but instead of graphic designer, we're going to focus on this one. Desk mm, drawer? No, that's not important. Mm -hmm. Changed. How about David Thorne? Nah. Yeah, it, it is important. There's no question his name is important. Okay, so look at what we're talking about. We're talking about waste, 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 and unprofessional, okay? So our, our main oh, yeah. message is waste and unprofessional. So unprofessional is horse whisperer. Waste two boxes of business cards, okay? And the two needs to be hit harder. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. So it's going to sound something like this. I had two 
boxes of business cards in my desk drawer, and sometime in the last month, David Thorne replaced them with cards that have my title changed from graphic designer to horse whisperer. Can you believe it? David Thorne is a jerk. I hate him. <laughs> this is the idea. Who wants to try the sentence again? Let's go to let's go to RoboCop. George, I want you to try it. <laughs> okay. I had two boxes of business cards in my desk drawer. Okay, wait. Now your pronunciation is great, but George, I want you to be angry. I had two boxes of business cards. I had two boxes of my oh, I had two boxes of business cards in my desk drawer. And sometime in the last month, David Thorn replaced them with cards that have my title changed from graphic designer to horse whisperer. Okay, that sounded actually it sounded much, much better. Much, much better. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the sentence. I'm gonna I wanna make it shorter. Okay, so we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to, I want you guys to only read the yellow section. This is the key part of the complaint. Um, this time, let me have, uh, uh, let me have Bedetha read just the yellow section, please. Okay. I had two boxes of business cards. David Thorne replaced them with my title changed to Horse Whisperer. There you go. I liked it. Now, I want you to, I'm sorry, but I want you to do it again. Be angry. I had two boxes of business cards. David Thorne replaced them with my title changed to Horse Whisperer. Whisperer? Whisperer. Whisperer. Okay. I had two boxes of business cards. David Thorne replaced them with my title changed to Horse Whisperer. There you go. Much, much better. Great job. Dimitri. Let me hear it. Hmm. I had two books of business cards. David Thorne replaced them with my title changed to Horse Whisperer. Horse Whisperer! <laughs> Dimitri, when you say Horse Whisperer, I want you to shake your fist like you want to kill him, okay? <laughs> Oh, it was much better, much better. <laughs> it was good. Uh, I'm going to go to the next one here, uh, Perf26. Uh, if you guys have questions, let me know. But let me scoot to Perf26. Ah, these are mine. Go ahead, Berta. No, I was wondering uh, if you notice if I pronounce replace good. Oh, I liked it. Yes, David Thorne replaced them. Yes, you sometimes, Berta, you know you have the cluster, the, especially the R cluster, but the PL cluster sometimes needs a little bit, a bit of work, but it sounded good this time. This time, I was concentrating more on your intonation, which was really good, and it sounded fine. Replace them. Yeah, because I'm not sure if when I read fast, if I mm. pronounce the ending sounds. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Well, in this case, it's the faster you read it, it's as you know it's more difficult to hear the ending sound so it sounded fine to my ears it sounded fine all right thanks you bet let me go to 26 this one let's start with uh yuka so this is a subject about racism and uh the person who's speaking is a little bit frustrated you know you know, let's just be, let's just like each other. That's kind of the person's message. Um, and I think probably most of us agree uh, to some extent with this person. Uh, anyway, um, we all have different opinions. So, Yuka, can you start us off here? Uh, once again, I want to go sentence by sentence. So, Yuka, up to here. Um, actually, Yuka, let's give you all of this. We're, Chinese is one sentence. Uh, we'll give this one. This one will go to matte. I'm going to change the color. Um, and then this one we'll give to George. 
and this one will give to Dimitri. So let's uh, let's just try it like this. I'm gonna de-bold everything. I hope it's not too bright, and I'm gonna get my green color ready. Ready. All right. Now we can go for it. Starting with the once again Yuka, then Matt, then George, then Dimitri. Go for it. The north end of Boston is still Italian. The south end is still Irish. And Chinatown is, guess what? Chinese. Some people are more comfortable living with those they can identify with. It's not necessarily racist. In Hartford Square, you can hear 20 different languages within two blocks. Some people enjoy living in a more... Some people enjoy living in a more the first area. Let people build get rope to, us, to themselves and live there and with whom they like and uh, quite calling it racism. Great job guys, very good, very good. So a couple of pronunciation points here. Now Yuka, what's the problem here? Uh, it's Connected. That's right. So try it again. Boston is still Italian. Great. And this one? South End is still Irish. Good. And keep these uh, these L's and R's. Italian. Italian. Good. Use a light L. Italian. Italian. Lian. Lian. Italian. Um, I'm hearing a little bit of a flap, so I want you to be careful. Uh, on, don't touch the inside of your mouth, only the teeth. Italian. Lian. 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 Good. Italian. Italian. Good. There you go. That was good. Italian. Italian. That, uh, that was much better, much better. And then... Irish. Irish. Very good. And make that R even stronger. Irish. Irish. Good. Let's do it in this sentence. This is a good sentence to practice. I wish I were Irish. Try that. I wish I were Irish. What? Huh? <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> Try it again. Would you do it? Sure. Please? I wish I were Irish. I wish I were Irish. That was great. Very good. One more time. I wish I were Irish. Excellent job. This allows you to really focus on the R difference. Uh, these two words uh, get you really focused on the R sound. That was really good. And this one, intonation. And Chinatown is, guess what? Chinese. And Chinatown is, guess what? Chinese. There you go. Very good. Let me go down to Dimitri. Dimitri, the TR. Let people be true to themselves. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Dimitri. Say it, please. Mm -hmm. Let people be true to themselves. Okay, so let's go focus here. True. True. That's better. True. Uh, true. Okay, so let's just do R O O. Ru, ru, ru. True. Okay, now that sounded good. And this try a uh, let's let's do this word. Say this word. Um, T R Y. Try that word. Do I? Hmm. Okay. Let's do another one. Um, uh, try that word. The weight. Ah, okay. So it's really let's do let's do a different situation here. Um. Mm, try this. Christmas. Okay, that was good. Christmas was good. Let's do uh, 
Let's do this. Try that. Print. Good, good. Okay, so I like this one. Let's stick with this. Print. Print. Good. Let's do it three times. Uh, print, print, Trent. Print, print, uh, print. That was much better. Do it again. Print, print, Trent. Print, print, print. Much, much better. Let's go back here. Let people be true. Uh, let people be true. Much better. It sounds much better. We got to practice that. It's not easy. Let's go here. Live, live where? Live where? Excellent job. Much better. Much better. I know in Russia the W's and the V's are a little bit tough. And let's go this one. Quit calling it racism. Quit calling it uh, racism. Very good. Give me more R. Racism. Uh, racism. Excellent job. Bertha, you want to try these R's too? Go for it. Yeah. Bertha, why don't you try the whole sentence here? Let people be true to themselves and live where... I don't know. See, I didn't... <laughs> it's, it's not easy, but don't, don't get frustrated. Just try it again. Um, and everybody, uh, just give it a shot. Let people be true to themselves and live where and with whom they like and quit calling them racism. Uh, your R's are very clear. Go through this. Train, 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 train. Try trade Christmas. Try trade Christmas, print, 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 train. Yeah, you're, you're right now. And you know, when you concentrate, um, you can, uh, you can, your R clusters are no problem, no problem. I didn't roll them. What, what's that? I didn't roll them. Not at all. It sounded great. Uh, okay. Let's get Ping. Ping, uh, you can join at any time. Ping, do you want to try this sentence? Oh, no. I mean, can I, like, try my section? Well, the, the, today we're doing it a little bit different. People had oh, to wait okay. too long, so I, I had people try any time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can try. Which one? Uh, let, try this yellow section here. Okay. Uh, in Harvard Square, you can hear 20 different languages within two blocks. This some, two? People, some people enjoy living in a more diverse area. Good. You sound like RoboCop's sister. Oh, yeah. I remember you told me that. <laughs> so, it, it, it's not bad. I'm just not feeling it. So, let's go here first. Uh, perfect pronunciation for this number? 20. Perfect pronunciation 20. 20. Good. 20 different languages. 20 different languages. Very good. So, in this sentence, this is a very important word. So, we want to keep the T. In Harvard Square, you can hear 20 different languages. In Harvard Square, you can hear 20 different languages. Good. Uh, so, Ping, you're from China, correct? Yeah. And how many people live in China? Uh, I don't know. Like, a lot. A lot. That sounds like a high school answer. Uh. Is that about right? Yeah. And how many languages are in China? Like, there are maybe like 50 or 60. Yeah. It's not languages, it's dialect. Uh, but also, are you true? Languages and dialect. Thank you. Uh, I'll change that. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, this is what I say. So just just check out this situation. Give you give you guys a feeling. Uh, mm -hmm. America has three over three hundred million people, and we speak uh, more than and and many of us speak 
Uh, I'll just say and, and and we speak English and Spanish very frequently. We'll just say something like that. Uh, so now you compare. This is nothing. That's nothing. We're, we got so many more people and so many more languages, so the intonation has to be strong, and I want this to be natural. So I'm going to read this, and then, Ping, I want you to read this, okay? Okay. America has over 300 million people, and we speak English and Spanish very frequently. Uh, 1.3 billion people live in China. People speak over 50 different dialects. dialects. <laughs> Boring. <Okay>. I <laughs> but, tried. But I'm teasing. George, give it a try. This is not easy. Don't worry. It's, it's not easy. George. Yes. 1.3 billion people live in China. People speak over 50 different dialects. That was better. That was better, but not much. Let's have uh, Matt give it a try. 1.3 billion people live in China. People speak over 50 different dialects. Exactly. Oh, that was great. Bingo. So you're comparing these two situations. So you really need to concentrate on these words, uh, and we can say we can say that word too. So let me go back to Ping, and I'm going to go back to George too. Mm -hmm. 1.3 billion people live in China. 1.3 billion. Wait, I don't know how to pronounce it. Billion. 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 People live in China. Good. One more time. 1.3 billion people live in China. 1.3 billion people live in China. Perfect. People speak over 50 different dialects. People speak over 50 different dialects. Much better. Now you're speaking English. That was good. George, give it a try. 1.3 billion people live in China. People, I, people say that I just like Robert talk. Robert. <laughs> We're going to fix Robert. it. Yeah, Robert. Uh, George, one more time. Get it stronger. 1.3 billion people live in China. 1.3 billion people live in China. People speak over 50 different dialects. People speak over 50 different dialects. Much better. So much better. So much better. It takes practice, but we'll get there. We'll get there. So for you, for Ping and, and George, intonation is really going to be important. But remember, try and connect intonation with emotion and or body language. It, it sounds, you know, silly, but it's really true. In America, it's really important to do that, okay? Okay. Good. Um, Dimitri has a question. Do Americans use this uh, for Christmas? Um, or is it an obsolete word? Uh, okay, so Dimitri, when we write, when we write uh, and we want to save space, we say this. Very few Americans actually say Xmas. Uh, we say Christmas. And the idea, Christmas, uh, Jesus died on the cross, the X is a cross, so I guess, you know, that's kind of the connection. Um, but... Uh, when we write, it's common to see Xmas on a sign or something, or on Twitter, you definitely see it. But when we say it, uh, when we're speaking, uh, I definitely recommend Christmas. Some people do say Xmas. Very few, though. Those people should be shot. <laughs> Thank you. You bet. Oh, God. You know what, Matt? Uh, Santa asked me the same question. This, and I'm going to add this to my, uh, uh, what is it, pronounce it right channel. This is such an excellent, excellent question. Um, <laughs> so when you saw this, Matt, did you think it was the name of a Chinese guy? I thought it was in Chinese. Seriously. Yeah, yep. I did. 
Same thing with Santa. Uh-huh. Santa thought this was a, a Chinese guy. Oh, this is so great. <laughs> so does anybody, other than Matt and Santa, oh, Santa's not here, does anybody know how to read this? Did this is a sign. What's that? You mean say in Chinese? No, 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 no. How, this is, so uh, I, I need to find a sign. Hold on a second. Let me find a sign. Uh, yes, yes. I, I can't pronounce it as a pedestrian sound. Yes, pedestrian. Yeah, when they're crossing, you know, the street. Exactly. So let me share my screen. Pedestrian. There we go. So this is, this is what you'll see. You'll see this. Uh, <laughs> how do you read it? How do you read it? <laughs> So some people, once again, Santa said, what does Ped Jing mean? Ped Jing. <laughs> it's not Ped Jing. This actually stands for pedestrian crossing. Okay, so it's like at a crosswalk, and I'll spell it out for you. Um, and, uh, yeah, I thought that was so wonderful. I never thought it was Chinese. It's actually pedestrian crossing. So it means cars need to slow down. So once again, this X means cross. Uh, Jesus Christ died on the cross. So here's your connection with these words. <laughs> Pedexing. So brilliant. So brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did work out the meaning in the end. Oh, good job. By yourself? By myself, yeah. I figured out that it, it was all over the place for a reason. Good job. How did you figure out the X? I thought it looks like a cross. And there you go. I'm, maybe I did. Sorry. Well, oh, everybody, I'm going to ask everybody, please uh, mute your microphones uh, when you're not speaking. Uh, and to mute your microphone, uh, you just click on the green microphone, and it will change to gray. There you go. Ping, everybody did it except Ping. Ping, can you hear me? Yeah. Wait, can what? Click on your microphone, the green microphone. Mm-hmm. It'll, there you go. Now that changes to gray. And now um, you're muted, so I can't hear you. So when you're not talking, uh, keep your microphone on mute, and the sound quality is better. Great. Okay. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. This one was pretty good. You guys did a pretty good job. I'm going to skip it. We're going to go to Perf 27. If you have a question, go ahead and ask. Otherwise, Perf 27. Boom. Don't save. Oops. George, go ahead, George. Yeah. Uh, question. Yes, sir. You said it's 20. You said, it's, you said it was 20. Yes. But I said it's 20 with the T. Ah. The, pronun the pronunciation. It should be 20. No. The pronunciation. Okay. That's a, that's a good point here. Um, the, 20, the pronunciation of this, uh, so in daily English, let's, let, let me do a couple of things here. So 20, um, perfect pronunciation is with a T, 20, 20, 20. Uh, but in, in America, we usually cancel this T sound, and it actually kind of sounds like 20, 20. Uh, actually, it's gone, 20, 20. Don't change it to a D. 20, 20. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you're going to do anything, just get rid of it and say 20. Okay? Okay. So let's do this one, George. Read this number. 22. What about this number? 20. Oops. <laughs> you're too fast. 2014. Okay, so read this number with perfect pronunciation, George. 2014. Good. And now read it with typical regular pronunciation. 2014. A little bit faster, it sounds like this. 20, 2014. 2014. 2014. Nope. Get rid 2014. of it. 2014. Good, good. Let's go back here. 22. 22. 22. 22. 2014. 
2014. No, 20. 20. More, 20. Le less, 20. 20. 2014. 2014. Great job, great job. Yes, so Ping's question is, so we don't pronounce the T. Uh, this is, once again, this, I have to be careful. You guys are learning speaking, or you want to master your speaking. I do recommend that uh, you try to keep the T when you are speaking. Uh, however, when a, the Native American, you know, English speaker says this number, almost always they cancel the T. So in this sentence, however, in Harvard Square, you can hear 20 different languages within two blocks. In this particular sentence, this is a very important word. So most Americans are going to pronounce the T sound. In Harvard Square, you can hear 20 different languages. They're really going to emphasize it. If this language is not, if this number is not important, they'll say, in Harvard Square, you can hear 20 different, 20 different, 20 different languages within two blocks. They will cancel the T. So my recommendation for you guys, keep the T. What about for the money? Same, uh, yeah, once again. If you ask for the money? Yeah, uh, it's... Because if I... People say, I, I think it's a 20. That's yes. the most common. Yeah, but exactly. The most common will be no T. It's $20. It's 20, 20, 20 dollars. Uh, and the pronunciation, Dimitri, 20, 20. Oh, it's like two N's, like, uh, like Denny, uh, 20, uh, Penny, like that, 20. So, yes, no, you're right. Now, once again, um, George, Americans are going to do this and cancel the T. But we don't intentionally do it. It just happens naturally. So, George, when you're speaking... Always in your head, I want you to say 20. But the faster you say it, the more you say it, naturally, you might cancel the T, and that's absolutely fine. But do not intentionally cancel it, okay? Okay. Okay, good. Yes, and once again, 20, Denny, Penny, that any sound. All right, let's go to perf27. Don't save. Perf27, where are you? Okay, uh, this one, uh, this is the exaggeration one. This was oh, so difficult. I'll make some easier assignments. This was a really tough one for lots of people. Um, let's, oh, Syed is doing great. Let's do this. Let's have uh, Syed read the first section. Berta read the next section. This one will go to Dimitri and George. We don't have a script. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so once again, sorry. Okay. So once again, uh, this will go to, this first yellow section goes to Syed. And then Bert, Bertha, the second section. And then, who did I say? Dimitri for the yellow section here. And then George for the last white section there. Go for it, guys. Oh, Syed, I can barely hear you, Syed. Can you adjust your microphone volume? Okay, it sounds a little bit better. Go ahead, Syed. It's good enough. So, I went up to the third row, and I had a talk with the CEO about my idea for saving the company lots of money. Good job. And... Delta. Okay, well, the CEO wasn't available, so I set an appointment for the first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, really good. Very good. Um, everybody mute your mic, please. 
Syed, please mute your mic. I know you had to turn the volume up, and that makes a lot of static. Thank you, Syed. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, uh, Dimitri. Is it Dimitri next? Yes. Okay, well, first thing, uh, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to send the CEO an email. That was really good. That was good, Dimitri. George? If they hire me, that is, you know, if I get the interview, of course. Oh, George, that was your best. That was really good. That was not robotic at all. That was really good. Very good. Thank, thank you. Let me go back here to Syed, and Syed, you got to turn that mic back on. Um, so your pronunciation was okay. This is a strange word, this F-L-O-O-R. We actually say something like this, floor, floor, 12th floor. Good, that was good. And Syed, I want you to try to connect this sound together. My eye, my idea. Great job. Uh, let's do this. Talk with the CEO about my idea. Talk with the CEO about my idea. About no, my eye. My eye. Good. Try it again. Talk with the CEO about my idea. Talk with the CEO about my idea. My idea. My idea. Good. Uh, for saving the company lots of money. For saving the company lots of money. Good, and I really want you to hit that word very strong. Syed, one more time, the whole thing. So I went up to the 12th floor, and I had to talk with the CEO about my idea for saving the company lots of money. Okay, once again, 12th floor. 12th floor. Good, more R, 12th floor. 12th floor. Good, and we have to my eye, my eye, my idea. My, uh, my idea, my idea. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, one more time, the whole thing. So, I went up to the 10th floor, and I had a talk with the CEO about my idea. No, my idea. My idea. Start here. I had a talk with the CEO about my idea. Good. Yes. Now, everybody, this is really important. So, when we hear Sa Sa Syed, we c and he practiced just these two words, my idea, my idea, he had no problem. It was easy for him. Only practicing this word, floor, floor, he got it. He had, he had no problem. But when we start the sentence again, suddenly it gets to be difficult. It gets confusing. So, for everybody... It's really important to, yes, get that one word pronunciation down perfectly, but you have to get the whole sentence down too. The sentence is very important, okay? So that's really tough. Good job, Syed. Let me go next to Beretta. The CEO wasn't available. The CEO wasn't available. Oh, there you go. That was perfect. Uh, I first thing, yeah, you did. That's, you know yeah. it. <laughs> See, this is the thing, Beth. You don't need me. You know your mistakes. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I was trying to practice that a lot because I must. That's my. You oh, know, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. And I couldn't fix it, and I noticed I say it again. Well, you know, the the only way to fix your mistakes is to recognize your mistakes. So you're doing great. Yeah. Um, the first thing tomorrow morning. We need you. <laughs> yeah. Try it again, Berta. For the first thing uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, what sound is that? That you you hit it right. Tomorrow. That's right. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Very good. Now, yeah, what problem is that? The the o. After the yeah. one more time. Ah, the Mao. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier to say Ma. Ma? Yep. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Tomorrow. Perfect. Sounds great. Tomorrow morning. Oh, thank you. You bet. You bet. Now, also, Dimitri had a problem with that word, but Dimitri's problem was more in the R. So let's concentrate on the R. Let's, just, let's start with this word. Let's start with this word, Dimitri. 
first. You have to turn your mic on, Dimitri. Dimitri might have a little bit of a delay, too. Just. Good. Try and give me more R. First. First. Good. Morning. Uh, morning. Good. Oh, I liked it. Morning. Morning. Good. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes, that was perfect. First thing tomorrow morning. First, first thing uh, tomorrow morning. Oh, Dimitri, that sounded so much better, so much better. Dimitri, uh, let's do this one too. Send the CEO. Send the CEO. Try and say it a little bit faster. CEO. CEO. Good. CEO, an email. An email. Yeah, that's no problem. So, Dimitri, try the whole sentence again, please. Okay, well, first thing, tomorrow morning, I'm going to send the CEO in CEO and email. Very good. Good job. Good, very good, Dimitri. And let me get George. George did great this time. George, let's get this one. Get the get the interview. Get the interview. Good. Get the interview. Now, I want more connection. So we have a connection here. Get the get the and here. The inter. The inter. Get the interview. Get the interview. More get, connection. The interview. Get the interview. The interview. Get the interview. Let's do this. Do, do I have to pronounce the T? Okay, uh, see, that's the question. Be, I'm gonna, let's do this first, and then I'll answer your question. It should, should be interview. Well, let me answer, let's do this first, George. The in. The in. Oh, perfect. The in. The in. Good. Now, once again, perfect pronunciation in America is interview. And yes, you're absolutely right, George. Many Americans reduce the T. They cancel it, and we hear interview, interview. However, George, I don't want you to do that intentionally. Uh, if you're speaking intentionally, I want you to keep the T, interview, okay? Okay. But so let's was... try it again. Get okay. the interview. Get the interview. Get the interview. Get the interview. Sounds much better. Good job, guys. It's not easy. Questions? Practice anything. Anybody? You come, Matt. You can jump in, too. One more time, Matt. I didn't say anything. Oh, that was Syed. Yes, that was Syed's voice. That's right. It's very small. One more time, Syed. That sounds better. One more time. I have to listen carefully. One more time. I had a talk with the CEO about my idea. Okay. It sounded much better, but still I want more connection. My idea. My idea. My idea. My idea. My idea. Try it again. My idea. I had a talk with the CEO. No. <laughs> so this is this is really interesting. So I don't know if everybody can hear it, but when Syed practices these two, it's perfect. My idea, my idea. But when he does the sentence, he says my idea, my idea. And this is so difficult, especially for well, for for so many different people, but it's especially for students in Asia. Um, Syed, uh, your native language is Arabic? No, Urdu. Uh, Ur Urdu? Yes. Okay, so maybe the Urdu, I don't know anybody. Uh, do we have anyone from... Is, is Urdu the language in Pakistan or... 
Is that right? I think you're I think you're my only student from Pakistan so this is a new practice for me um, but maybe in in the Urdu language do you have linking or not much linking well, just remember, yeah just remember in English there is lots of linking and it's difficult so Syed, I want you, once again, you're perfect here, but in the sentence it's much tougher. Try one more time, please. I had a talk with the CEO about my idea. Yes! Bingo! Perfect! <laughs> Great job. Any other questions? Too easy, too easy. Berta, go ahead. Yeah, over there where um, he says, if they hire me, that is. Uh, so what, uh, what is that is? Okay. So that's a great question. So the intonation, if they hire me, that is. What does this mean, that is? Anybody? That is uh, that he's happy because he's going to get the job. Or... No. I'm going to give you another situation here. So what, let's watch this. Um, Okay, so uh, my English teacher is Coach Shane. He's the most handsome English teacher uh, on YouTube, that is. Well, on his channel, that is. Well, in my opinion, that is. So what does that is mean? I, I, I've used it three times here. And look at what we're talking about. My English teacher is Coach Shane. He's the most ha handsome, most handsome. That's really big. On YouTube, smaller. On his channel, smaller. In my opinion, smaller. So each time I go smaller and smaller and smaller, I'm using that is. What does this mean, that is? It's a tough one, isn't it? So the idea of that is, yes. So instead of that is, I mean is perfect. Another one, I should say. Another one, actually. So look at it again. Let's change it with actually. That might be easier. He's the most handsome English teacher on YouTube, actually. <laughs> on his channel, actually. Actually, actually it doesn't work that well. Um, I mean is better. Yeah, I mean is better. Um, he's the most handsome English teacher on YouTube, I mean. <laughs> on his channel, I mean. Well. In my opinion, I mean. Now, what's important, though, is that is means I mean, but what you're doing, what are you doing? You're taking a fact and clarifying it. So we use this expression when we want to clarify a fact, when we want to make a fact more precise when we want to really be specific clear about what we are saying does that make sense Berta? Uh, yeah it does but you see I haven't heard it here in America is it um, do you use it a lot? okay we do use it but what's interesting is is it's really hard to hear. So let me read, uh, let me read, uh, da, 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 da. I'll just read this again and you'll, and listen to the intonation. My English teacher is Coach Shane. He's the most handsome English teacher <laughs> on YouTube, that is. Well, on his channel, that is. Well, in my opinion, that is. 
So it's actually just really difficult to hear that is. So, Beretta, I'm sure you've actually heard it, but I'm guessing also that if you didn't pay this attention. is a, yeah, it's you, you may not have had many opportunities. Yeah. What about though? No, in this case, On though is not going to work. Um, On his channel, though. No. One, one more time, George. On YouTube, though. On his channel, too. No, it, I see what you mean, but no. yeah, it's not going to work. Um, it's not going to work. Okay. No. Um, let's see. Instead of... Uh, um, how can I use though in this situation? I don't think it's possible to use though in this situation as all. Well. My English teacher is coaching. She's beautiful, though. Actually, it's going to be the opposite. So it's like uh, my English teacher is Coach Shane. He's the ugliest teacher on YouTube. Uh, or on the uh, uh, he's the ugliest teacher on YouTube. Though he's handsome. Uh, so this is the idea. It actually works the opposite. If we use the word though, we have to contrast something negative. Here, we're talking about something positive, so it's not really going to work. Does that make sense, George? Yes. Okay. Good. All right. We're almost finished, but Joe Zhaodan and Martin have joined us, so let me say hi to those guys. Uh, Zhaodan, is my pronunciation okay? My pronunciation must be really bad. <laughs> I'm, I'll try again. Zhou Zhao Dan. Or maybe the microphone's not working. Oh, maybe the microphone's not working. Um, if you can hear me, please use the chat room and say hi if you can. Uh, Hmm. I'm going to write on our board here. Hi, Zhao Dan. Can you hear me? If you can, please uh, type in the chat area. Um, I cannot hear you. I hear a baby. Oh, I think I do hear Zhao Dan. I hear a baby crying. No, 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 not a baby cry. It's just my son. He's watching TV, and I, I have difficulty in using this this app. So I don't know how to how to manage hey, that. It's perfect now. It sounds perfect now. Welcome. Thank you. But <laughs> I'm kind of. Uh, Living because my son is going to a Sunday school, so I'm taking him to the school. But I just want to say hi, and I love your class. Thank you very much. Oh, Zhao Dan, thank you very much. Um, thank you for dropping in and saying hi too. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Love you. Bye. All right. Take care. Bye. Very nice. Let me go to Martin. Martin, can you hear me? Is your microphone working? Hmm. I think Martin can hear me because he turned his microphone on, but I cannot hear him. Now, once again, the first time we use uh, this software, it does get confusing. And even for me, I'm not a computer guy, so uh, I had to learn about checking the mic, the microphone levels and things like that. So, Martin... Um, Please just keep playing around with the audio on your computer, the microphone, maybe turning up the volume. That might work. Um, and if you have a question, use the chat room, too. We have a chat room there. Okay. Yes, yes. I can hear. So Martin says I can hear you, but I think my mic isn't, isn't working. Yeah. Um, 
maybe somebody can help you if you can explain the type of computer. Um, but uh, don't don't go anywhere. We're going to do one more lesson before we finish here. And I'm going to close this and I'm going to open up Perf 28. Perf 28. Da, 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 da. Wait. Where's my assignment? There we go. Perf 28. Okay. Uh, so Perf 28. This one requires some emotion, some uh, storytelling ability. It's a little bit longer, um, but it's a very good story. Let me go back and unbold it, make it bigger. Um, now I have to have Matt and Yuka do this one especially, so I'm going to give them a big chunk here. Um, I'll give this to Matt. And I'll give this to Yuka. Who wants the last section? I, I want to give this to Martin. Um, if Martin's microphone works, we'll give it to Martin. If it doesn't work, uh, we'll give it to Syed. Uh, since Syed came in late, we'll give it to Syed. So first of all, this will go to Martin if his microphone is working at that point. Otherwise, we'll give it to Syed. So let's start with Matt, please. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. I was walking around this gigantic store with 20 meter high ceilings looking for the plumbing department. Way above me in front of each aisle were signs. Electrical, lawn and garden, paint, automotive, lightning, fixtures, cabinets. Great job. Yuka. Then I saw it. Way on the other end of the store. Plumbing. I thought about going back to my car and moving it to the other side of the store, but I tapped it out. Good. Martin? Yeah. <laughs> Syed, go for it, Syed. Great. I liked it. Very good, guys. So let me go back to Matt, first of all. Now, notice, everybody, did Matt say 20 or 20? He said 20. He kept the T because this is a shockingly high ceiling. So that was perfect. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. If it was like, you know, uh, you know, like a three-meter high ceiling, who cares? That's nothing. But 20? Oh my goodness, that, that's amazing. So we keep that T, okay? Um, but Matt, I want you to give me more O for this word here. Okay, and I, I didn't say 20 in my recording. I said 20. I know. That, that's what I'm used to, but I'm getting, I'm sort of, I'm transitioning. <laughs> you understand the reason though, right? Yeah, I, I do, I do. That's, that's why I did it this time. All right, automotive or no. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't know how to read this. I'm not sure. Okay. Auto, automotive. automotive. It, keep this as a schwa, uh, a schwa. This is your schwa. Auto. Auto. Motive. Automotive. Perfect. Automotive. Automotive. Good. Electrical, lawn and garden, paint, automotive. Automotive. Yeah. So sometimes we'll put the, the accent here. Uh, sometimes we'll put it here. In this situation, I think it's more natural here because of the flow. Electrical, lawn and garden, paint, automotive. What about this one? Yeah, I, I read, read this. It's two items. I don't know why. Lightning <laughs> fixtures. Li it's lightning not fixtures. It's not yeah. lightning. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Very good. No, but you know what? What's interesting, uh, Matt, is people who sent recordings, 90% typed or said lightning. Yeah. Um, I, don't remember, I don't remember what I said, but I know both these words. <laughs> and, yeah. So read the list again. I want to hear your intonation on each section. One more time, please. Electrical. Lawn and garden. Be more hey. bored. 
Be more bored. More more what? Sorry. Electrical. Be more oh, like, okay. like exhausted. Okay. Electrical, lawn and garden, paint, automotive, lighting fixtures, cabinets. Excellent job. It sounded great. Now, Yuka, you did a great job. Your intonation was very good, but I know you did not use body language, correct? No. <laughs> Try this again. Let me feel, let me really visualize what you're saying. Okay. Way on the other end of the store. I liked it. Way on the other end of the store. One more time. End of the store. One more time. End of the store. One more time. End of the store. Oops. Martin. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Martin. Welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm interrupting. No, that's okay. That's okay. It's working now. That's good. I'm going to test you a little bit later, okay? Okay, Yuka, one more time. Way on the other end of the store. This word, too. Make this word strong, too. One more time. Way on the other end of the store. Good. And this one, you have to be tough. Show it in your expression. But I toughed it out. But. I doubt it out. There you go. There you go. That was perfect. You can really sense uh, those sounds, everybody. Thank you. Let me go to Syed. Syed. Syed, is my pronunciation correct? So Syed is right. Syed, how do you say your name perfectly? Syed Danish Temple. Got it. Oh, that's, that's Syed Danish. Okay, I'll stop there. I had a friend from Pakistan. His name was Shoaib. Shoaib. Is that a common name? Uh, yeah, Shoaib. There, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. A Danny, that's very convenient. Yeah, perfect. All right, Danny. Danny, your pronunciation was terrible on this word. <laughs> Try it again. Seven minutes later. Later. Several minutes later. Seven minutes later. Good job. It felt like hours. It felt like hours. Perfect job. So what's interesting, I want everybody to know that hours and Hours sound exactly the same. So, Danny, do this one more time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right up to destination. One more time here, Danny. Seven minutes later. It took me like hours. I arrived at my destination. Okay, so your pronunciation was pretty good. It felt like, one more time, it felt like... It felt like... Hours. Good. But you were really boring, so I want you to listen to me and repeat after me. Several minutes later, it felt like hours, I arrived at my destination. Seven minutes later, it felt like hours, I arrived at my destination. Sounds much better. And don't forget, later felt like. Later felt like. Good job. Very good. All right. Now I'm going to go to Martin. Martin, Martin. Uh, Martin, Matt asked a question. Did you change computers or did you change your default microphone? How did you fix your audio problem? Uh, well, I, I turned uh, my laptop on, so that was the problem. Aha. Uh -huh. so, you, so you restarted your laptop. Uh, yeah, well, I was using a desktop, uh, but I think I have some problems with the mic, so I decided to turn my laptop on. Very good, very good. So, yeah, <laughs> changing computers is sometimes the best. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Martin, I want you to read this section, please, the yellow, first yellow section. Okay, uh, I was walking around this gigantic store with 20-meter high ceilings looking for the plumbing department. Way above me, in front of each aisle were signs, electrical, lawn and garden, paint, automotive, 
lighting fixtures, cabinets. Pronunciation is really good. Give me a T here. Fixture, actually a CH. Fixtures. Okay, fixtures. 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 It's like this. Um, uh, it's like, uh, whoops, what the hell is going on here? Here we go. Whoa, what the hell? What did I do? Uh, hold on a second. Oh, what's wrong? Here we go. It's like this. Fixtures. Uh, fixtures. Fix, keep that S. Fixtures. Fixtures. Good. Lighting fixtures. Lighting fixtures. It's, it's not easy. One more time. <laughs> Lighting fixtures. Lighting fixtures. Good, good. It's not easy, but that sounded much better. Now, your pronunciation was really good, Martin, but your intonation, uh, the feeling was not exciting. So, let's look at the first sentence. And do you remember which words we want to really feel? Uh, 20. 20 is important. What else? Um, plumbing? Mm, not. Uh, maybe gigantic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the verb is a little bit important, uh, but gigantic and 20 and high, especially 20 meter high, those three, uh, and a little bit here. So read the first sentence again, please. Okay. Uh, I was walking around this gigantic store. Boring. <laughs> again. <laughs> I, w I, I was walking around this gigantic store. Boring. Martin, wait. <laughs> Listen to me. I was walking around this gigantic store. Okay. Uh, I was walking around this uh, gigantic store. Okay. Let's stop here. Okay. Uh, uh, Martin, yeah. what kind of food do you like? Um, fruit. Okay. Uh, an apple? Yes. Please read this sentence. I ate an apple. Say it again, more natural. I ate an apple. Good. Try that one. I ate a big apple. Good. Try that one. I ate a huge apple. Good. Try that one. I ate an enormous apple. No, 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 no. Okay. Again. I ate an enormous apple. More. <laughs> I ate an enormous apple. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Try this one. I ate a gigantic apple. <laughs> okay, that's better. Now, we're missing something. The, so the, you did a good job. And this is the kind of this order, okay? I ate an apple. No problem, boring, whatever, it's regular. I ate an apple. I ate a big apple. I ate a big apple. We hit it. We hit it. I ate a huge apple. We hit it even harder, especially the you. I ate now, we're going to start using body language. So it's the same feeling as this with body language. I ate an enormous apple. Try that again. I ate an enormous apple. Use your hands. I ate an enormous apple. I ate an enormous apple. Okay, good. And this one, even more. It's got to be even more. I ate a gigantic apple. I ate a gigantic apple. <laughs> okay, Martin, that's all right. Martin, where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Mexico. Come on, Martin. Don't Mexican people, you are. you have a very... Uh, descriptive language. <laughs> I think I, I think I'm a bad apple. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not at all. Okay, so let's. <laughs> Mexican food is much more. I know Mexican food is so delicious. Why apples? Anyway, uh, let's go ahead. Read the sentence again, please, Martin. Okay, uh, I was walking around this gigantic store with 20 meter high ceilings. Looking for the plumbing department. Oh, so much better. So much better. Now, the second sentence, which words do we want to emphasize? Um, two. 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 Two words. Two. Um, I don't know. 
Uh, Anybody? Uh, way about way. Way. In signs. Each. Each. Okay. So this is each. Now I want everybody to remember each means every. Okay. So that's an important word, right? Okay. Yes. So go for it. Read the next sentence, please, Martin. Way above me, in front of each child, were signs. Oh, okay. So way was really good. Give me more each. Way above me, in front of each aisle, were signs. One more time. Okay. Way above me, in front of each aisle, were signs. Much, much better. Much, much better. And everything else was really good. You did a good job. Good job, Martin. Okay. Uh, Martin, you know you came an hour late. You know, right? Uh, yes, I apologize for that, but uh, I I still uh, find uh, I I got mixed up with the times, uh, yes. Los Angeles times and uh, Mexico City times. So I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, I yeah. I, I I this is we're just starting Perf Live. Uh, so we all need to to get ready. But yeah, don't worry. I just I just wanted you to know that actually I'm done at this point. <laughs> Okay. And now that I'm done, Vanderlei comes. Vanderlei, why are you so late? <laughs> Welcome, Vanderlei. Can you hear me? Vanderlei's microphone is off. Click on the microphone and change it green if you can, Vanderlei. I hope my pronunciation is okay. Can I ask a question about pronunciation? Absolutely, Berta. Go ahead. Yeah, it's um, automotive. Automotive, yes. Automotive, yes. Automotive, okay. So the word auto is actually like this. It's a flat T. Auto. Auto, auto, auto. Auto? Yes. And then automotive. Autom and now, that's auto. So when we when we make the word longer, now it changes a little bit. Now it's ah. Uh, now it's a schwa sound. Mo. And once again, it's a flat T. Motive. Automotive. Automotive. Okay, so the M O. Um, I thought it was M A. Aroma. No, no. This one is gonna be mo. We keep the mo. That's right. All right. Good question. Aroma. So, yeah, the automotive center, yeah. Once again, Berta, as you know, we just say car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. But if you do go to a store, uh, they will say automotive parts or automotive section. They do use this word. Um, but yeah, yeah. when we speak, we usually say, where are the car parts? Where is the car section? That's absolutely fine. Yeah, automotive sounds so nice. Automotive. Any questions? Well, everybody, I want to say thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this Perf Live, I think, is much better than last uh, month's. Last month's uh, was a bit longer, uh, but it was killing me. Uh, this one is much better. I think we have a good system. Um, I'm curious as to your opinion uh, about it. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm recording this. And I'm going to upload it, um, but I don't know where I should upload it. Maybe Coach Shane's ESL? I don't know where to upload it because I don't have a perf channel. Um, but I will upload this uh, recording. Um, next month, we'll meet again in the middle of the month, but the time will be different. And I haven't decided the time. It will either be 8 a.m., or 10 a.m. Um, I haven't decided, but I'm kind of hoping 8 a.m. But to be honest, that's difficult for me because I usually go to bed at 2 or 3 in the morning. But uh, I'll have to tough it out. <laughs> <laughs> so are we going to um, uh, we gonna practice the, four, the next four birth lessons? That's right. So it's going to be perf 29, 30, 31, 32. Probably those four lessons. Okay? Okay. Great.
Thanks so much, everybody. I appreciate you guys uh, spending the extra time and coming to the Perf Live class. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank Have you. a nice weekend. Have a great week. Hey, bye. Bye, everybody. Uh, let me see. Adios to Berta. Hello. Uh, no, no. Gracias to Berta. Adios. To Dimitri. Spasibo. Uh, George, where are you from? Oh, I live in Los Angeles right now. Ah, you're in LA. What 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 nationality are you? Uh, originally Indonesian. Indonesia. Oh, Turimu Akashi. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to Martin, uh, gracias. To Matt, uh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know how to say. It. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you, Coach. <laughs> Isn't it Jen Jekuznia? Yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> Try it. Say it for me. It's Jenkuya. Jenkuya. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Syed, I have no idea how to say thank you in Urdu. What? Oh, <laughs> I can hardly hear you, Syed. Uh, but please send me an email telling me how to say thank you in Urdu, and I'll practice for, for next time, okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, Vanderlei, I know, I believe Vanderlei is from Brazil, so I have I'm to say. I'm from Brazil. Bra obrigado. Obrigado. Vanderlei, why are you so late today? It, it's because I was reading, so I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I can hear your voice. Okay, now you can. I, I'm becoming used to it now. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Uh, Yuka in Japan, Domo Regato Kojaimas. Domo Regato Kojaimas. Very good, very good. Uh, since Vanderlei's mic is working, I'll, I'll, I'll let Vanderlei have the last word. Did you have a special question or anything that I can help you with, Vanderlei? Um, let me see here. And uh, how, can we, how can we pronounce the word girl? G I R L? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a good question. This is what we'll close out on today, girl. Uh, so, it, make it two syllables, and the first syllable is gur, gur, with a long R, and the next syllable is roll, roll. It's like a schwa with an L, roll, gur, roll, girl. Girl, girl. Perfect, perfect. So, let, I'm going to make you a sentence. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. I'm I'm losing. I got I bad bad example. Hair. Yeah. Mm. That's really horrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's a difficult. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So so anyway. Uh, we got four examples actually of the yeah. same sound. So give it a shot. I like the girl with the swear in her hair that she swears when she sees squirrels. Okay, not too bad, but actually the L is missing. I want more L. So Vanderlei, do you know the, the light L? The tongue goes between the teeth. Yes, yes, yes. Try that. Girl. 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 Remember, girl. two syllables. Girl. girl. Good. I like the girl. I like the girl. With the twirl. With the twirl. In her hair. In her hair. That she swirls. That she swirls. When she sees squirrels. When she sees squirrels. Good. Try it one more time. I like the girl with the twirl in her hair that she swirls when she sees squares. Excellent job. Excellent job. That's a good difficult. <laughs> it's a tough one. Yeah, I should be sent it to That's worth it. Great. And of course, now that I'm ready to go, we get another person joining, P870. Who is P870? 
Sounds like a frog. <laughs> oh no! I think it was I scared the person. Uh, this is why I don't have many students. I'm not nice enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I apologize. Anyway, have a great month, and I'll see you next month, okay? Okay. All right. Take care, everybody. Take care, everybody. Thank you, Coach. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. See you.